Hey, hey, this is Julian and you are on Eat the Blocks. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Web3 in your project. By the way, I've prepared a cheat sheet with all the most important information about Web3. You can get it for free. Just follow the link in the description. Web3 is an NPM package, so that means that before you install Web3, you need to first install Node.js. Node.js is cross-platform, so you can install it no matter if you're on Mac, Linux, or Windows. So at the time of the recording of this video, the LTS version, so long-term support of Node.js is 12.13, but probably that when you watch it, the LTS would have evolved. In any case, you should choose the LTS version over the current one because this is going to be more stable. So to install Node.js, you just click on this button and you follow the instruction. And at the same time, it's also going to install NPM, the package manager of Node.js. All right, so now I'll go to my terminal. So this is my project folder. So the first thing I need to do is to install Web3 as an NPM package. So I'm going to do this with NPM install Web3. Let me clear my screen. So it took a bit of time because Web3 has a compile dependency. A compile dependency is an optimization where part of the code is written as C or C++ and this is done for speed reason. Because of this compile dependency for some people, this part of the installation actually fell. So if this happened to you, you have several solutions. One solution would be to change the version of Node.js. In general, if you update your version of Node.js, it should work better. You could also try to install another version of Web3. And if it still doesn't work and you are on Windows, then you could create a dual boot install of Ubuntu and just work on Ubuntu for your Web3 project. Or alternatively, you could switch to another library, which is called ether.js, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. All right, so let's assume that the installation process worked fine. So then a quick note on Web3 version. So at the time of recording this video, the latest version of Web3 is 1.2.4. So it's possible that you encounter some project with Web3 before version 1. So for this old version of Web3, the API is a bit different. So don't be surprised. All right, so I've installed Web3 locally. So now I need to use it in my project. So I'm going to create a new file. And the way you import Web3 in your project is very simple. So you define a variable Web3 and you require Web3 like this. And after you can use Web3 with this Web3 variable here. So you can import Web3 on the back end, so in a Node.js project, but you can also import it in a front end application. So for example, if you use Webpack, then you could do something like this, import Web3 from Web3. Or there is a last method if you don't want to install the npm package of Web3 and you want to reference the file of Web3 directly, you can use a project called unpackage. So with unpackage, you can access any file of any published npm package using a publicly accessible URL. So here they show you how you can construct the URL of the file that you want to access. So for example, for Web3, you need to use this URL. And then from your HTML, you'll be able to load directly the compile source code of Web3 that is also minified. I don't recommend to use this method, but if really, really you don't want to use Webpack and NPM, then it can also work. All right, so that's it for this video on how we can install Web3 in a project. If you have any questions, ask them in a comment down below. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can connect to the blockchain by using Web3. Thanks for watching. Bye.